Helicopters Magazine, your source for Canadian industry news and business intelligence for more than 30 years. When economic belt tightening becomes a heightened priority, it's paramount to not compromise on safety concerns. We asked our esteemed panel how they are managing and how they are progressing with the implementation of safety management systems at their respective organizations. I don't think I've seen any single development or measure that has more positive impact on the industry than the implementation of safety management systems. I know, of course, that they've been uh, well used throughout uh, other industries for ages now, and why the aviation industry was so long in getting around to seriously addressing uh, SMS is beyond my comprehension. But nonetheless, uh, that said, from the economic side of it, uh, we've certainly, we've been moving ahead uh, by leaps and bounds in Highland with SMS. Um, we've been bearing the costs. Uh, there's no way of avoiding them if you're going to, uh, if you're going to truly buy into the, the whole concept. And uh, other things perhaps have suffered as a result of uh, complying with the safety development. But our focus is entirely on doing that. So it's not, uh, we're not finding it an impediment in any way. Other than that, it probably does shorten the funds available for some other pet projects that we might have had going. We have a pretty significant SMS uh, program in-house, okay. which is tied with our Hydro One safety program. It's, it's extremely in-depth and it's, uh, it's a high priority. It always is. And it's, a, it's an excellent system that we have, and uh, <coughs> there's no compromising on that, which, is, which we're fortunate that our company recognizes that too, so it's, uh, it's good. Yeah, we, we have SMS too. Uh, we are trying to, to make our employees work on this because we, we want to go with another specialized company in SMS, like, like uh, lots of, of uh, carrier in Quebec. So uh, the, the, the system is, is good. Uh, for us, the problem at this time is uh, with Transport Canada because uh, inspectors don't know their own system at this time, and I think they they are trying to to do good, but uh, I think they are very very busy, uh, Transport Canada, and we are trying to to have sometimes help about this, and sometimes uh, we don't have uh, response or the just don't call back or you know so uh, we are doing it for the safety first for the customer too because now it's a requirement for lots of, of companies to have SMS the system is good but you know uh, I think they push the SMS too rapidly for uh, for little uh, air carrier uh, f I, I imagine for someone who has only two machines mm -hmm. it's very very difficult because he needs also a QA, he needs, you know, it's a very, very big structure for a small operation. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how what's going for 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 those guys, but you know, uh, for us, uh, yeah, the SMS is, is doing well. And some of some of our operators um, already have mature SMS systems in place. Okay. Challenge from uh, HAC's perspective is really. Uh, two-dimensional. Uh, one is that the uh, s the smallest operators seem to be having the most difficulty implementing because the system was was uh, uh, was designed uh, for implementation in <clears throat> a larger operation. So it's even though the promise of SMS has been that it would be scalable for small operations, it's more difficult in practice than it, it was in theory. So that's one challenge. The other is uh, the, uh, the uh, implementation date is, is constantly moving off and it's moved uh, again until 2012. And uh, um, you know, I know that there are some issues inside the department with the culture and uh, getting the culture change uh, with inspectors. But uh, you know, I think that we're at a stage really where the credibility of the, the the process is being affected by the constantly moving implementation dates that are that are taking place. Um, and like many other things that that uh, Transport Canada does, 
frequently the systems are built for large operators and then small operators are, are uh, uh, an afterthought uh, about how it's actually going to work in a small operation. I mean, it's one thing to have an SMS in, uh, Air, in Air Canada. It's another thing to implement all of the systems that need to be in place in a small operation that may have one or two machines and, you know, three people that basically do everything in the company, maybe from the same family. So, yeah. Yeah. you know, we, uh, we've been in business a long time yeah. um, in, some, in, in some incarnation or another. Um, and uh, so over the years, we, we, we've developed a pretty robust safety management system. I mean, it's just, it's just been our safety system um, so that I'm confident that the, uh, meeting the um, benchmarks for the early implementation, it, we've already, we're already there. Um, and that's, you know, that's a cultural thing from, from years. You know, it's a legacy system that uh, has, has been around Canadian for a long time. And because we've been a big operator, we've had some big contracts and some big clients, and they've pushed us, you know, prior to transport implementing SMS into having SMS-like systems. So, when you deal with Shell Aviation, for instance, uh, you deal with Rio Tinto, you deal with some of the big players uh, in industry. Well, in order to win the work, you've got to have an SMS in place. So, we have certainly benefited from the size of our operation because we've been pushed that way a decade ago. The difficulty of, of adapting to, to SMS and implementing the, the kind of uh, standards that Transport Canada is looking for isn't, isn't necessarily just a, a matter of throwing more money at it because we have been doing that. It's really, on a small operation anyways, it's really getting the personnel resources with the knowledge in-house that can set the time aside to, and, and we're really seeing this on the, on the maintenance side because that's where we've been, been sort of challenged first. So the, the, the challenge for us, where we haven't been slowing down because we haven't been affected by the, the general economic slowdown, when you're trying to maintain full operations and even expanding, because right now we're looking at expansion in, in Saskatchewan, we've been having a lot of challenges getting our AW139's uh, interiors designed and completed, so our, our maintenance and engineering and design staff have really been fully occupied uh, just with day-to-day -day operations. And at the same time, we've had to find ways to break out management's attention so that they can actually really re-engineer the whole uh, maintenance control system uh, so that we can successfully meet the, the audit requirements. It's, it's a good thing in the long haul, but in the short run it certainly is, is challenging.